Oh my goodness Shonen Jump what are you doing with the weekly release of these new manga series last week it was blue box and this time around this is candy flurry now even though the premise of this story seems very wacky and weird but still i'm kind of engrossed by the story and as such we need to talk about this so hello and welcome to advice z my name is soham and today we are going to talk about candy flurry the new manga series from shonen jump But before that if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content along with a bunch of other stuff. With that being said, let's begin the video. Now let me just say this right out of the bat. This is a pretty weird series with a very wacky and uncommon story setting in the very first place. And I was really taken aback by that. But at the same time it also incorporates many classic shonen tropes but it does manages to give them a unique twist of their own and that is something which makes this manga engrossing for me moreover in one simple word i can say that this is kind of an hybrid take on one piece in the modern tokyo setting yeah that is actually the case here because apparently in the world of candy flurry there were 100 very special candies which are made by a company called joy joy and initially nobody believed them but later on it was found out that yes these candies are very special because the people who ate these candies were granted with some very special powers these are the candy powers and because of these powers tokyo is actually destroyed yes tokyo is destroyed because of the powers of candies and there's a very powerful yet wacky scene here where tokyo is seen destroyed in the middle of huge lollipops which are spread across the entire city like i said the premise of the story is very weird it's probably something which you have never even thought about but at the same time the characterization and everything is pretty good and that is what makes this story so engrossing for everyone and like i said the lead character here called sumogi is like a non creepy female version of pero spero from one piece because she is a lollipop user but there are a lot more shenanigans that she has to face because even though the company said that all the 100 candies were unique but still she is tied in a very difficult spot here because apparently somebody else also had the lollipop powers which she had and that particular person was actually responsible for the destruction of Tokyo but because she is also having these lollipop powers if she displays these powers in the public she is definitely going to be persecuted by the sweet police force called the reset Now here the cover of this manga is looking really beautiful in my opinion the colors the setting as well as the perspective the one point perspective looks absolutely fabulous here but i can't really say the same thing about the rest of the chapter yeah there are some good panels here and there especially the fight panels where sumogi brings out her lollipops and she smacks out the villains as such those are really good and really detailed as such but the rest of the chapter when normal things happen they are kind of bland in my opinion and they do not really mix that well But still this is just the first chapter so I have high hopes for the series and let's just hope that this series continues to become a good seller. A lot of these new series are coming up on Jump but unfortunately we know that not everyone is going to survive for long enough but I hope that this series actually succeeds because it has a very very interesting premise and once again even though this looks like a mixture of classic shonen tropes but still it is distinct enough and unique enough to tell a story of its own. Now here like I said in my review for Blue Box I don't want to give you all any major spoilers because I want to recommend you all to read this story on your own but for the sake of this review video the following is the plot synopsis for the series well like I said before Sumogi is actually the protagonist of the series a girl who absolutely loves candies and loves chocolates and one day because of some unknown reasons she actually becomes a candy user and now she has the powers of the lollipop the same power which was used to destroy Tokyo but she is not the same person She is a very kind and sympathetic person who even cared for a roadside pig. And on the other hand there is a male protagonist called Misaki who kind of gets involved with Sumogi right at the starting of the series in a crime scene spot. And later on we also find out that he has actually transferred to the same school as Sumogi and there's a pretty interesting dynamic that builds up between them but all of this kind of comes to a halt when at the end of the chapter Sumogi's secret is actually revealed to Misaki when she inevitably had to save him from a monster who had gone berserk. because the world currently is facing a lot of problems from these sweet users who are using these powers of the sweets to cause a lot of harm to the world and as such the sweet police is trying their best to stop all this menace but at the same time sumogi is kind of caught in the middle of all of this because she has the same power as the person who destroyed tokyo so obviously all the blames are going to come upon her but at the same time the next chapters are going to deal with the aftermath of this particular situation so overall i'm pretty intrigued and enticed by this series and i'm definitely going to look forward to the next chapter as well moreover i am going to definitely recommend you all to read the series if you are interested into some alternative shonen with a unique taste of its own it's available for free on wiz.com/shonenjump so do go there and give it a read right now so these are my initial impressions for candy flurry so what do you guys think about all of these things 
please do let me know in the comment section below so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more also please do join the channel membership for some very cool perks and features with that being said this is wonderwise and i'll see you soon in the next video